Hi, I'm Pastor Kyle Thompson. Welcome to today's Fireside Chat at South Park Church. Thank you so much for tuning in as we conclude our series on rest this week. I'm so grateful to our staff for all of their words of encouragement so far this week, from Jenny starting off with her honesty about how difficult it is to find rest, especially in the midst of all the complications of the pandemic, to Nikki for helping us to rethink and redefine what rest really is, from Pastor Lindsay, who talked to us about how we can take care of our souls as part of seeking God's rest. And then Kevin helped us think about how we can plan for rest and to make time for it. I have to admit that I have not been the poster child for rest over the past few months in the midst of this pandemic. My wife, Laura, even said that I've been a huge stress ball and I don't think I'm alone in that. I just don't want to be a hypocrite today to say that I've got it all figured out. I do know that sometimes in my life, when I get it right, I really do feel rested. And so I've been reflecting about some of those times and just want to share a couple of those with you. I find that when I'm able to start out my day, just a few minutes grabbing a personal time with God to read some scripture or to pray or to read a devotion, that that restful moment with God carries me through the rest of the day, especially when I run into stress. And if I miss that time in the morning of kicking off my time with God, just dive right into to some of the stressful things that might be happening, I, that rest can be elusive and that can be a very difficult day. I also find that on days that I, I'm not able to get outside and do some sort of exercise, whether that's running or walking, playing basketball, just doing something out in the yard, that I don't have a restful night of sleep. That by being active and kind of re-energizing my body and my mind through exercise and just the ability to, to get out, walk, and run, and, and to let things process in my mind, to talk to God, to, to sort through some things, that if I miss that moment or those moments of exercise and the, the time to process things mentally, then I'm not very rested. But when I'm able to do that exercise, do that reflection, then I'm much more rested at night and also just in general. Another thing that really kind of restores my soul and, and, and rest is just spending time with my family. I, I'm grateful that I've been sequestered with my wife and two boys, and I know that not all of us uh, have that same experience, but when we're able just to sit down and, and spend time with each other to laugh or play a video game or be outside together, that also is a moment of rest for my soul, rest for my spirit. And so those are the times that I get it right. But a lot of times when I don't make those things priorities, I do become that stress ball and I'm no fun to be around and I'm not living quite the life to the full that I think God wants us to live. So I think God gives us the opportunities. We just have to identify what it is that feeds our spirits, what it is that, that feeds our rest and make time for it. Just like we've heard throughout this week, I think uh, God's been bringing all five of these messages together. And what really kind of anchors it for me is that God models this for us. God models this for us very clearly in the scripture from the first book of the Bible, Genesis, where God has created everything. And what does God do immediately after God has done all that work? God rests. God takes time off. God takes time away. In Luke's Gospel, in chapter 5, it says that Jesus fre frequently, let me get that word right, right, frequently went away just to spend time off by himself in prayer to recharge his batteries, as Lindsay talked about this week, taking care of, of the soul. And so if God, if you know, Jesus, Son of God, God himself, if, if, if it's important for God to rest and God makes it a priority, then that's something that I think that you and I can give ourselves permission to do and not feel guilty about it. And yeah, sometimes we'll get it right. Sometimes we won't. I don't think we need to beat ourselves up if, if we haven't been finding good rest. But just celebrate those wins, celebrate those victories that God has given to us. And in my own experience, the more rest that I'm able to find, the better off I am, the more energized I am to do the work of God in the world. So thank you for spending time with us this week. I hope that you will find some time for rest today and this weekend. 
and that God will bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go get some rest.